Welcome to Sports Doctor. Sports Doctor is a live presentation, so we encourage you to call into the show and ask your questions on injury, rehab, training, or technique. We'll be taking your calls shortly. Call 767-8884 for your direct line to Sports Doctor. Here's your host for tonight's program, medical reporter Joe Chapana. Hello there, good evening, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Sports Doctor. We're brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center in Sicklerville, Woodbury, Washington Township in Pennsville. They're offering free evaluations for the next two weeks, and at the end of the program, we'll give you numbers to contact those centers and set up an appointment. Tonight, we're going to be talking about a relatively new procedure, and uh, it's hip arthroscopy. We'll find out who it's for, maybe for you, and also uh, we'll take your calls too. Also, we'll hit on ACL injuries as well as uh, your concerns. Uh, if you have a question tonight, you can call us toll free. We're 1 888 634 7488. With us tonight to answer your questions on hip arthroscopy and ACL injuries, we have Dr. John Salvo, who is the Assistant Director of Sports Medicine at Cooper Bone and Joint Institute. They're in Voorhees in Washington Township. And also, Dave Anselmo is with us. He's a physical therapist and owner of Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center in Sicklerville, Woodbury, Washington Township, and Pennsville. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. And Dave, we'll start with you. We're going to be talking about the hip, so uh, walk us through a hip. Sure, I'll do the hip and then I'll do the knee. Uh, let's talk from the bottom here. This is the femur, okay, and this is the greater trochanter of the femur. As we come up, this is the head of the femur here. As we come in here and then it goes into a, something called acetabulum. It's really like a true ball and socket joint where it's like this, acetabulum like this, and the head of the femur comes right into it like this. And this is the capsule that goes around it. This is the ilium right here and this is the ischium. Okay, and once again, this is the femur that comes down here, which you continue down for the knee. This is the femur. You come all the way down. This is, uh, this is the tibia. This is the fibula. And both of these are the right side too. This is the right. Um, as you go into the, oh, let's go outside. This is the lateral collateral ligament. This is the medial collateral ligament. This is the patella tendon. Underneath here is the patella. And then we can go inside the knee. Look around here. This is the meniscus. This is the medial meniscus. This is the lateral meniscus. And here's the ACL, which we'll be talking a little bit about tonight. And there's the back here is the is the PCL, which is the posterior excruciate ligament. ACL and hip arthroscopy tonight on Sports Doctor. Dr. John Salvo, hip arthroscopy. Is this a common procedure? Uh, no, Joe, it's actually not a very common procedure. There is a uh, limited patient population that can be helped with this, but the technology uh, recently in the last five years has really changed to allow us to see and do a lot more with an arthroscope in the hip. Now, talk about some injuries that could be helped with hip arthroscopy. Uh, one of the, the, a couple of the common injuries, one is loose bodies and people who have a uh, minor traumatic injury to their hip can knock off a piece of cartilage just like you can in your knee or your shoulder like any other joint. Another one is the stabilizer, the labrum in the hip. And we've talked in the past about the labrum in the shoulder acting as a stabilizer. Well, the hip has a similar kind of structure in it, and uh, this can be a very, uh, a relatively common injury, especially in swimmers, divers, uh, gymnasts, soccer players, and ice hockey players. And we're really starting to recognize more and more of these injuries as we're uh, getting tuned into them. For people not familiar, hip arthroscopy, this is a surgical procedure? What is this? This is a surgical procedure. It's similar to it's some of the same equipment that we use for knee arthroscopy and shoulder arthroscopy. Uh, they have to be a little bit longer because uh, the hip joint is covered by more muscle than the other, mus than the other joints in the body. Um, but it's the same idea uh, through uh, small incisions, the same size incisions that we use on the hip and on the, the knee and the shoulder. You can actually get the camera inside the hip joint and then through a second incision while looking at everything with the camera, you can use it to, uh, to work and uh, clean up tears and take out loose bodies. As opposed to the old way we'd have to cut the whole the thing. The old way we'd have to cut it out and do what's called an arthrotomy of the hip or you have to cut open the whole hip joint and dislocate it in order to do any work. So this is a much less traumatic way of uh, doing some work inside the hip. Okay, Dave, and I would imagine um, recovering from hip arthroscopy is probably quicker than the, the old procedure. Talk about that. Well, one thing we like about the procedure itself is you have every small incision, as the doctor nicely said, so you really don't have to worry about too much about infection or anything like that. And because the hip is such a big weight-bearing uh, joint, um, we really uh, like to take advantage of 
putting the patient in the water right mm -hmm. away and, and working on the limitations. Obviously, talking to the surgeon first and making sure everything went all right with the surgery and you know any other type of complications they might have. But we like to put the patient in the water because we like to take advantage of not only the warmth of the water, but the buoyancy and start working on some uh, proper weight bearing and start doing some exercises a lot earlier without really stressing the joint and causing any further problems. And aqua therapy is offered at three of your centers. Yes, Woodbury, Pennzoil, and uh, Turnersville. Okay, and uh, don't forget Cross Keys Physical Therapy offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. Stay with us because at the end of the program, we'll give you the numbers to contact the center, schedule an appointment. Right now, though, you can reach us toll-free at 1-888-634-7488. Taking your questions about hip arthroscopy or ACL injuries, our first caller from Clayton. Denise, welcome to Sports Doctor. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. What can we do for you tonight? Uh, I have a question. I have a 14-year-old daughter mm -hmm. who had ACL reconstruction of her knee. Just wondering how long it takes for her to be able to get totally back in the sports. Okay. I really get that I guess question. that would be a... Well, um, actually, in, initially they would uh, obviously be getting into therapy right after the surgery for the first couple of months because that's very important uh, to get your range of motion back and your strengthening back. And I'll let Dave touch on the specifics of that. But usually to get back to sports, it's about six months to get back to starting cutting, twisting activities. But the truth is, it's about nine to twelve months till you're fully rehabbed and you have your, uh, your your muscle reaction time back, and you can get back to sports. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do really depends on the individual too. I mean, really, what type of condition you are prior to having your rehab done and having the surgery done. I think it's real important that you, first of all, you're you're in good condition. If you're an athlete, then you're probably going to rehab back a lot faster than someone that is not very athletic or really hasn't been involved in an exercise program prior to having your surgery because of obviously healthier soft tissue, um, better conditioning, less problems with stretching, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, obvious reasons, we, we really find that uh, people that are in very good shape and that are um, in good condition and, and have exercised prior rehab back a lot faster than someone that hasn't. And it's interesting, our first caller on ACL injury uh, is the mother of a 14-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. And I know that's one of the things you wanted to hit on, Dr. Salvo. Are, are, are women in that age category more prone to ACL injuries than males? Um, yeah, actually they are. And uh, we have a few studies that we've uh, looked back at. And for females in high school and college level, they were playing the same type of sports as males, uh, soccer, uh, lacrosse, things like that, that there was a two to eight times greater uh, incidence of ACL injury in the women than the men. Um, it's really multifactorial. It's, uh, it can be the way they, uh, they are built, the way their uh, pelvis and the way their knees go. The ligament is a little bit smaller. Their reaction time or their muscles are a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, slower too. Um, so it's really multifactorial. Okay, we're talking about uh, ACL injuries and also hip arthroscopy, a relatively new procedure. We're taking your calls at 1-888-634-7488. You're watching Sports Doctor. We're going to Bluebell for our next caller. Bill, welcome to Sports Doctor. Bill, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, Hi what can we do you? for you? Good. Uh, thanks for taking my call. I, um, I had had surgery a while back um, and uh, torn ACL. Basically, um, I went too long, so they could not really reconstruct it, but um, have worked out, have built the leg up. Uh, my question is, I'm getting a, um, they, they say it's basically a calcium deposit on the inside of the, of the leg itself mm -hmm. to the point where this actually swells up to almost like a golf ball size, and then it goes down based on how much activity I've done. Is this something that um, I can go in and they can either remove that and reconstruct the knee at this particular point because I'm, I'm 52 mm -hmm. and I don't want to have a knee replacement. I'm still active, still play basketball, karate, things like that. But uh, this, I have no idea what this is. They said it, they, when they x-rayed it, they basically said it was um, calcium deposit. Where, where's the, uh, where's this located? It's on the inside of uh, my, uh, my left knee. Okay. Um, well, Bill, without the, without the advantage of actually seeing your x-rays, your story is actually uh, a little more common than you may think. When people have a tear in the ligament and the, the knee is loose, years later it can go on to cause some cartilage damage and some arthritis in the knee. This calcium deposit may also be, um, if we can look on the, the model, sometimes when you injure the ligament on the inside, your medial collateral ligament, right here. You can tear that with your ACL as well and that can get a little calcium deposit on it. That may be what they're talking about. 
Um, as far as your knee, um, usually if you have arthritis, then you would not reconstruct it unless you're having rather significant instability. Bill, thank you for watching. Thank you for the phone call. Don't forget, at the end of the program, we're offering free evaluations from Cross Keys Physical Therapy. Our next caller from Washington Township, Ron. Welcome to Sports Doctor. Uh, good afternoon, guys. Uh, oh. My question is, I had a work-related shoulder injury, mm -hmm. and I had a, um, an MRI taken, and it showed a posterior tear in the uh, librum. And, and, um, and what they did is they, they went in and had surgery, they cleaned it up and repaired it, and went through the physical therapy. But I still could uh, not lift my arm up and uh, had an orthogram taken, and it showed uh, that I had a, um, a uh, superior posterior tear. Now, my question is, is how accurate is MRIs in determining uh, what to do for in, as far as surgery? Okay, MRI is a diagnostic tool. Any thoughts? Um, MRI with the shoulder, especially with where it sounds like your tear is in your labrum or the stabilizing structure inside the shoulder, uh, as you get further up towards the 12 o'clock or superior position, uh, the, the accuracy can drop off. It can actually go down to a little over 50 or 60 percent, which means you're missing about 40 percent of the tears. As far as MRI accuracy, uh, you know, you, you can miss that many of the tears. Usually we go by uh, exam and history and, and your symptoms. And especially if your surgeon's already been in your shoulder, he's going to know what that, you know, kind of what that looked like. A repeat MRI after a surgery, uh, the accuracy drops off even more. Ron, thank you for watching. Thank you for the phone call. Don't forget, Washington Township, one of the places where Cross Keys Physical Therapy has a center available for the free evaluation offer. Also, Pennsville, uh, Woodbury, and Sicklerville, and all you need to do is call those offices at the end of the program. We'll give you the numbers for that. Right now, they're toll free, 1-888-634-7488. Let's get back to hip arthroscopy. Again, a relatively new procedure. Dr. John Salvo uh, performs this. What kind of symptoms would make someone a candidate for hip arthroscopy? Um, usually, somebody that's going to get a hip arthroscopy, they're usually younger than uh, patients with arthritis who go on to hip replacement. Now, hip replacement is a very common procedure performed, but hip arthroscopy, it's usually somebody who has pain or popping or catching deep inside their hip, or it can actually, they can feel it um, in their groin rather than inside their hip joint. It's not usually a place that you can uh, put your finger on it. And it's also usually activity related, and again, it's in a younger athletic population are the ones that we can really help out. So the ice hockey players, soccer players, uh, divers, gymnasts, um, some of the, the ballet dancers mm -hmm. and things like that are people who get these kind of these kind of injuries. What is the age for the hip replacement? When do you start considering that? Uh, it really depends more on the symptoms and the arthritis. Uh, usually 60, 65 if you have bad arthritis and you're having a lot of symptoms with the hip, that's when you'd be leaning more towards hip replacement. If your arthroscopy is more your 30s, 40s, and sometimes 50s, again, that's kind of broad, broad strokes um, as far as age categories. It's more, you know, the uh, physiologic age rather than the chronologic age of a patient. A difficult procedure to perform? Yeah, it's not it's not an easy procedure. Again, this is something that uh, is is uh, developing, and something that we are getting better at. And the technology over the last five years, with the instruments and the imaging, is really uh, we've really made great advancements. But it's still a technically difficult procedure to perform. Okay, Sports Doctor brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. We're talking about ACL injuries and also hip arthroscopy. Dr. John Salvo with us and also Dave Anselmo. And with us on the phone from Williamstown, Bobby. Bobby, welcome to Sports Doctor. Hello. Hello. Hi, my son is 14 and he has his hip is slightly dislocated because it never formed properly. Would this be something for him um, as or a young, is he too young? Um, it, it, it sounds like he has a, a developmental problem, what we call a, a DDH, developmental dysplasia of the hip. That's a, that's a, that's a, little, that's a little different. That's uh, the way he, is, he has grown and the deformity in his hip is a little bit different. Depends on his symptoms. It's not something to relocate a hip, uh, but it's more something that if he has catching or popping or something's moving around in there. Uh, then, then maybe, but the developmental problems are not are not taken care of by arthroscopy. Okay, thank you. What are we talking about here? Tears, basically, or we're talking about tears. We're talking about loose bodies. Uh, uh, people that actually are in traumatic injuries, you can get a traumatic dislocation of your hip, 
And when you do that, you're going to cause a lot of damage to your cartilage. And even people with early or mild or moderate arthritic symptoms can be helped out with arthroscopy. Okay, phones are ringing, but we need to take a break. We will come back with more of your phone calls. Toll-free numbers, 1-888-634-7488. You're watching Sports Doctor, brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center. More of our program right after this. Sports Doctor will be right back. Hi, I'm Kevin Ross from the Kansas City Chiefs. When I need physical therapy, I chose Cross Keys Physical Therapy, one of the leading rehab centers in South Jersey. Cross Keys Physical Therapy offers aquatic therapy programs in a heated pool that will help you strengthen weak muscles and improve your flexibility. Our highly skilled physical and occupational therapists are experienced with working with athletes and non-athletes alike. So if you need to get back to work or back to play, Cross Keys Physical Therapy. Sickleville, Washington Township, and Woodbury. Arthroscopy and also ACL injuries. Our topic tonight on Sports Doctor. We're brought to you by Cross Keys Physical Therapy Sports Medicine Center in Sicklerville, Woodbury, Washington Township, and Pennsville. They're offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. At the end of the program, we'll give you numbers to contact them. Right now, contact us live with your questions. 1-888-634-7488. Answering your questions tonight, Dr. John Salvo, who is the Assistant Director of Sports Medicine at Cooper Bone and Joint Institute in Voorhees in Washington Township. And also, so Dave Anselmo, physical therapist and owner of Cross Keys Physical Therapy. 1-888-634-7488. Next caller from Cape May Courthouse, Ken. Ken, welcome to Sports Doctor. Go right ahead with your question, Ken. Oh, yes. Uh, I had a um, uh, calcium deposit mm -hmm. in my hip, was what was said to me a few years ago. I get a lot of pain um, running down the side of the leg and into the groin. And I was wondering if this is something that uh, would help out. Okay. Um, again, it depends on where the deposit is and how big it is. Um, the, through the small incisions, we can do things inside the hip joint, but if you get a big deposit outside where the capsule is, as David uh, shown so well before, pointing out the anatomy, when you get stuff outside the capsule, if that's really what's causing the problem, a lot of times the open surgery may be better to get rid of it if you need surgery. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for the phone call, Ken. 1 888 634 7488. Claire is our next caller from Morrisville. Claire, are you there? Hello, Claire. Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm interested in talking to you about my knee. Mm -hmm. uh, when I walk up the stairs, it pops all the time, and I don't know if that's a sign of something very bad or Any, not. I don't, I don't know what that is. Any pain with this or just the sound? Um, yes, there's a little pain. When it, when it pops, I have the pain. I'm not really oh, fond of going up the stairs now because mm. I know it's, it's going to be painful, and it always does. It, it oh. pops, and I get the pain. How often are you, how often, are you having the pain every time you're going up the steps or just once in a while? No, every time. Okay. Well, it could be multiple things. I recommend to you to uh, go see your, your doctor about that because it could be a couple different things going on inside the knee joint. Um, I don't know if you have any other any other problems. Is it sending any pain down your leg at all? I mean, down into no, your, no. Okay. And it's just I staying right in your knee. Injury. Is your knee swelling up? No. Okay. Well, it could be uh, a couple different things. Once again, I, I recommend you to go see uh, your physician or um, actually see uh, the doctor. Okay, and don't forget Cross Keys Physical Therapy offering free evaluations. That may be something you want to take advantage of too. And uh, we'll give you the numbers for their centers at the end of the program. Right now, taking your calls toll free, 1 888 D is our next caller from V. I'm sorry, from Philadelphia. V, are you there? Hello? I am calling because I have a similar problem. Oh. Going up the steps are ex is very excruciating. Mm -hmm. And in the back of my knee, in the back of it, it's completely blown out. I think it's like a baker cyst 
that I have on both of my legs. I'm not able to climb steps, and the whole entire knee as well as the thigh is swollen, and it's going down into the leg. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, how, I experienced... V, how old are you? I, I, I'm, I am 45. You're 45, okay. I um, experienced uh, pain in this knees, uh, something terrible. Okay. And I have some type of cracking, grinding, and popping in the knee. V, those are all uh, sounding like symptoms of arthritis in your knee. Even at your young age, it sounds like arthritis. And the, the, the fullness you feel in the back could certainly be a, a cyst in the back of the knee, or as you said, a, a baker cyst, which is a benign cyst that actually usually comes from the knee joint. And it's usually related either to arthritis or a tear in your meniscus or your shock absorber. Um, I would recommend that you get some x-rays and get, and get evaluated if it's really bothering you. Can you do hip arthroscopy for arthritis? Uh, you can't do it for severe arthritis. No, it's not going to take the replace. It's not going to take the place of joint replacement surgery or anything like that. At most, it would be mild arthritic changes or the early arthritis. But uh, you would really want some mechanical symptoms or popping or catching or deep pain inside the hip, and that's what you can help out with arthroscopy. It's not going to cure arthritis. Okay, hip arthroscopy, ACL injuries, your cause, toll free, 1-888-634-7488. Dave from Sewell is our next caller on Sports Doctor. Dave, welcome to our program. Dave, are you there? Yes. Hi, what can we do for you tonight? Um, I have my son who has played soccer for years, mm -hmm. and um, he has an undiagnosed uh, hip injury. Uh, he's had a bone scan, he's had MRIs done just recently, and we can't, they, they don't know what it is. Okay. Um, we've, you know, called to Children's Hospital in Pennsylvania. What's, uh, what, what's happening with his hip? Is he having, uh... uh... He has pain down his leg, both, uh -huh. you know, and has a hard time walking. Does it happen all the time, or is it just uh, when he's trying to run or trying to play, or...? Mostly in the morning, and sometimes you know after doing phys you know physical activities. Okay. Is, do you have any like popping or catching in his hip or anything like that? If if he has something like that, now sometimes the regular MRI, just like we talked about with the shoulder before, it can actually miss some stuff. So when when you have something like that and uh, the things you can't quite find the reason, sometimes we do what's called an MR arthrogram where we have the radiologist stick a needle inside the joint and inject some dye and it gives us much better contrast to the soft tissues. If this kind of thing is still going on, uh, you know, he may need to, to get looked at and get evaluated and see if he needs that done. Okay, and don't forget Cross Keys Physical Therapy offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. Hang on because at the end of the program we'll give you numbers to contact them. Right now call us toll free 1-888-634-7488. We're going to Hamilton. Bill, are you there? Yes, how are you doing tonight? Good, uh, how are you doing? Okay, I have a question for Dr. Salvo. Mm -hmm. um, he took care of my son about a year or so ago. He was a uh, wrestler with a uh, loose medial collateral ligament mm -hmm. and since then he's uh, the meniscus. Uh, how long is the rehab? Because uh, he plans to wrestle this year uh, in college, and uh, he went from about 200 to about 250. He's going to wrestle at heavyweight. Do you think so. that's going to be uh, a problem as far as uh, the type of situation he's going to be involved? Uh, I think, again, with meniscal tears, it's kind of a, a generic thing saying it's a meniscal tear. At his age, depends on where the tear is. And if it's something that needs to be looked at and needs to be repaired, um, if I saw him before, uh, maybe you should you should give me a call uh, either tomorrow or Monday, and we'll take I'll take a look at him and, and uh, we can talk in the office. You know what? Let's do. You mind if we give you your your number out? Or no, no. It's right. um, eight five eight five six uh, three four two three two zero six is probably the best number to call. Okay, that number again. 856-342-3206. Okay, this number right now, 1-888-634-7488. To Wilmington we go. Mrs. Johnson, are you there? Hello, Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi. What can we do for you tonight? All right. I am nearly 80 years old. I have a vascular necrosis of the right hip. I've also had a knee replacement about eight years ago. I have sleep apnea and I'm overweight, and I have an orthopedic surgeon who recommends that I get a hip replacement. 
my daughter is very much against it because she feels very strongly that I could end up being worse than I am. And I'm on Celebrex, which doesn't help me much. Also, I cannot sit down or I cannot sit down and rise. I cannot sit down on furniture. Mm. I have to have a lift chair. So I'm in a quandary knowing about... Okay, this, about one's, this one's a tough one. I mean, uh, without seeing her, I can't imagine. That well, can... without seeing her, but it sounds like you actually have pretty pretty significant arthritis. And, uh, I mean, at that point, the choices really are... Again, without seeing your x-rays, I can't tell how bad it is, but significant arthritis is not something arthroscopy would help. I think it's a choice of either trying the medicines that you're taking and uh, trying to deal with the deal with the pain, or uh, you know, uh, uh, getting the hip replacement. Okay, Mrs. Johnson. Good luck. Thank you for the phone call, Dave. You were talking earlier about factors that contribute to early recovery with better outcomes. Uh, what's what's the story on that? Well, one th little bit of things like I was saying before, basically staying in good condition because we, we we're finding more and more of the people that are in very good shape we have back faster. Number one, two is basically. Uh, prescriptions. I mean, the doctor gives you a prescription for three times a week, you know, make sure you get in there three times a week. A lot of times people come in and they say, I want to get better as soon as I possibly can. But they get prescriptions for three times a week, they come in one time a week or two times a week. Well, obviously the therapist can't get you better unless they see you. And number three, I think that maybe, maybe the most important thing is, is doing your home exercises when the therapist is explaining about doing home exercises because that allows them to progress you a lot faster as you're doing these exercises at home. They don't have to deal with some of the little things they need to do in the office. They can progress and move you faster. Okay, speaking of the office, we're going to give the numbers to Cross Keys Physical Therapy. And again, they're offering free evaluations for the next two weeks. If you want to take advantage of this offer, you, you need to just call and schedule an appointment. In Sicklerville, it is 856 728 1900. Woodbury, it's 856-853-0988. Washington Township, 856-374-3707. And in Pennsville, right across the river from Delaware, 856-678-8000. Uh, Dr. Uh, John Salvo, our guest with uh, Cooper Boyne, Bone and Joint Institute, Voorhees in Washington Township. Your number again? Um, 856, actually I'll give you the Washington Township that number, it's 270-4150. Okay, Dr. John Salva, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Dave Anselmo, always good to have you on. Nice to be here. And we'll be back two weeks from tonight with another edition of Sports Doctor. Until then, I'm Joe Chapana. Stay well.